of data, how data is coming into car. Uh, any, any who have you have any type of query regarding this? Okay, so um, just we will uh, wait for something uh, five to three minutes so that uh, um, Julian. Okay, is it? So can you hear me now? better now yeah okay 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 just uh, i think yesterday you don't uh, regarding whatever we discuss you don't have any query if you have then you can ask me today we'll discuss about um, uh, pause dta the module of uh, first and mandatory module of car but uh, meanwhile uh, when we started like when julian provide us the system access then uh, within five to ten minutes you will share the system access on that time, uh, I will share with you some document of regarding car so that we can uh, use that five to ten minutes. We can use that time also. So, uh, okay. Uh, can I ask you some questions about yesterday's uh, session? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, first question about uh, program. Uh, Car uh, HANA activation. Uh, if you remember, uh, you uh, showed me this uh, program uh, yesterday. Uh, can you repeat, please? What does this program do, yeah. and why do we need it? Yeah, it's a it's a program in car itself. And uh, after when you get a fresh system of car, so how did you check uh, that the background database of HANA view stable and data is properly there? So how did you check an installation also properly uh, there for HANA and car? So how did you check? You have to go to in car system, just give AC38 T code, execute that program. So <coughs> it, will, it will show you the detail of success and error message. Success message will be in green status and error message will be red status status. And also you can see the path like which table, which views of HANA uh, or any uh, you miss any installing installation of car, any installation miss out by your uh, base system, then it will show you also the detail of the car. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so this is uh, just a system check before we right. start working. Yes. Right. It's a system check because uh, sometimes what happens, you are a car consultant, you don't have a proper access of HANA this, uh, studio and all. So how you check? We generally check uh, as a car consultant, uh, we check using that program. We have just go to your system and you check, uh, execute that program and uh, you will get all the detail. Uh, in, uh, um, it must be in green status. If there anything is in red, then you have to check with your base system who installed that uh, your car or uh, HANA studio also because mainly it is the check of database as well as the installation of car. So it's a you can say system checks when you get a fresh in, uh, in, uh, like installation of car before starting uh, considering yeah, everything. Okay, understood. Uh, next question. Um, as I remember, you, you wrote uh, three uh, um, items uh, uh mandatory items uh, first mandatory uh, is uh boss dta uh second uh multi-channel i um, didn't understand what is multi-channel maybe omni-channel promotion pricing uh, no no it's not promotion no? Pricing. no 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 promotion pricing it's a different module of car and it is coming under a ddf module Multi-channel means um, you have different different channels. Like as a retailer, you have a um, channels means uh, where sales return everything is happen. Like uh, you can say work in store. It's a channel. It's channel. What ah. channel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you mean that uh, information about sales? Uh, um, car can get this information from different channels. Uh, also, and from uh, post DTA also. Um, yes. 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 Uh -huh. For okay. 
yeah be before going into multi channel you have you also have to configure pause dta it's mandatory to go any other module okay uh, so you have to, uh, yeah i'm just i got the system access and just log in so it will be clear for you also i'm just log in okay give me 2 second okay okay uh -huh. yeah i'm just i uh, got the access and um, will you show me uh, how uh, to customize uh, uh, post DJ system? Um, how to prepare yeah. it to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will show you every detail because uh, configuration is mandatory and it's an important part of car. So yeah. one by one, we will go and I will show you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, welcome. Welcome. Just I just I'm logging. And the password is yeah, I got the password. I'm in system. Just open and then I'll share with you the screenshot. So whenever you get any query, any type of query, you can ask me. I am there for answer you any type of query. Whatever it is, uh, for, yeah, for you, maybe uh, it's a, like um, you are new into car system and car module is very like uh, nowadays is uh, so, so stopper in retail market, you can say. So it's a good uh, for the use also for both retailers and for the, you also like uh, as an employee for all of us. It's a yeah, for user ID password is rest of detail and next of name is a detail okay let me check the password password yeah welcome one two three welcome one two three yes i'm logging i'm just sharing my screen yeah, it will take time to log in. Start sharing my screen. Here we go with my screen. I already uh, like uh, give yeah give the username. This is the card system username and password and it's a fresh uh, so that's why it take a time. Fresh means. Uh, for, for us, it will one month, um, you can say, uh, access. So that's why it's a new uh, session for us, for you and me. So that's why it's a fresh uh, system. So I'm just logging. So when we log in, uh, I'll show you the module under the SPR is the path. Uh, where we have we can see all the module and uh, of car and first uh, we'll check uh, pause DTA module uh, then one by one will go it's just a lot of time And it's, uh, you know, it's a very uh, in interesting module. Uh, when you learn this module, it's very interesting because uh, it's, uh, you can do anything with uh, this model, like a uh, car. Uh, um, so it's a, a for SAP, which uh, they provide us. You can use for uh, small retailers, on big retailers. So it's a good opportunity to work with car also. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, yes, I think this model is very uh, important for nowadays because <laughs> ever, almost everything is e-commerce now, uh, mm -hmm. so car is very useful. Very much, very much useful and uh, oh, before that, yeah. Uh, yeah, before that, you know, before that there was pause DM only. Pause DM yes. with the blue. BIBW with database was like a car database is HANA and um, pause DM database was BIBW but there's a lot of drawback of pause DM. I will discuss in 
letter uh, session why uh, like uh, there is a need to uh, develop a new like uh, software like car so why why uh, posdm was not satisfied all the uh, requirements so uh, you know, i i work both posdm and car also so uh, there is a lot of difference between car and posdm when we go with car you can see that so here you can see uh, path is spro normal uh, ing whatever in sap uh, provide any, in any system this is the spro uh, here I, I don't know why it's too much slow so uh, excuse me uh, may i ask you one question yeah, sure. um, is this system clear so the system is absolutely new and uh, um, Mm, no uh, customizing were made, uh, were made on the system. Uh, am I right? Uh, no. Let me check because uh, we are, I already used this system for previous to previous. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Yeah. So let me check because what happened? Uh, sometimes they remove <sighs> that uh, configuration. So let mm. me check that one. So because uh, they remove the configuration and they give us the system. So but uh, sometimes some configuration remains there. Sometimes not uh, remain the configuration. So let me check uh, any configurations there or not. So okay. let's, take, let's take a little bit time. I don't know why I have to check with Julian for that. Yes. Yeah. So you <laughs> Very much. It's never happened before. I don't know why it's so uh, slow. Maybe some like I need to check with that uh, like uh, them also. See, there is a path uh, SAP customer activity repository. Okay. Yes. So, un yeah, under that you can see all are the useful module of car. This is the uh, pause DTA. Pause DTA. Whatever I told you, this is the mandatory module. Pause DTA. So it's a um, here you can you have to configure each and everything. Then you can see multi-channel. This is the same retail multi-channel foundation and multi-channel enablement for sales document. This both are same. If you are going to use multi-channel, like I told you, like different different channel you have, then you have to configure this too. But before that, you have to configure pause DTA. This is the mandatory. Then it's your choice on self availability, demand data foundation. If you open, if you are going with demand data foundation, then you can see there is under demand data, there is a different, different module like PMR, PMR, pricing promotion, and also uh, assortment, and also UDF. These are uh, itself a module under demand data foundation. And uh, this two, like, uh, Omnichannel pricing promotion uh, is a module also is a module of demand data foundation. So if you are going to use Omnichannel this module, so you have to configure specific uh, area for Omnichannel pricing promotion in demand data foundation. You have to replicate master data from ECC using uh, like DRF out. There's a T code. So if you are going to use and this one uh, uh, article availability and sourcing this one. Uh, itself a module and generally we use these two modules like omnichannel pricing promotion and omnichannel availability. These two modules generally use with any third application like you have a hybrid uh, commerce, you want um, uh, car as a hub, central hub of pricing promotion and you want to access uh, pricing promotion or article from your cars, uh, sorry, hybrid commerce system. Then you have to use these two modules. So, uh, here also you can see SAP, uh, SAP uh, hybrid marketing. So if you are going to use, then you have to con hybrid, then you have to, uh, it's for marketing, not commerce. So if you're going to use marketing also, then you have to configure here also. So it's a central hub. You can say um, there's a lot of opportunity. You can connect many systems like POS, hybrid, CRM, ECC, any system with car and you use car data as for reporting purpose as for mobile use as for any analysis data you whatever you need so basically these are the main module of uh, car and we will go first with pause dta pause data management of advanced you can see that it is the advance of pause dta 
okay for uh, sorry pos dm it is the pos dt is the advanced feature of pos dm before that when uh, we only have a pos dm system we don't have this uh, all this module we only have this one and here also some checks like um, uh you can say validation of data also there is a limitation of their pos dm now here uh, in pos dt you can see there is a lot of function uh, for that like uh, if you are going to use demand data foundation then you have to use activate some features under pos dt if you are going to use omni channel then you have to activate that data so it's it's a related thing you can say so first uh, we will go pos data management and one more thing there is a Short T code for pause the data management. Let me open another session because the system is slow. Uh, don't know why. So yeah, now it's fine. See, this is the slash n slash pause dw slash img. So this is the short form to go to uh, pause DTA. You can say pause DTA um, configuration. Whatever we uh, see here, this one you can go directly into that. or you can use the short form of that t code then you have to open this one and now uh, we will we'll start configuration of pos dta and this is for i will say uh, like a um, sales transaction or uh, inventory or goods movement any type of transaction you can configure here so i will show you one by one step by step so that it will be uh, like uh, easy to understand each and every step so when we open this one this img you have to go to directly into general setting and you have to create a profile now what is profile you have to create profile now what is profile profile is nothing but a name uh, like uh, you can see already it's a uh, 001 so you have we have to create a new entries so profile is nothing but uh, any any further configuration any like uh, you are going to use sales you are going to use uh, um, uh, discount tax whatever any further con configuration it will con contain that detail of configuration and when data is coming to your car system from any pos system or any other system then you can see the detail of the data under that profile and it will calculate the data it will uh, you can when we uh, i can uh, like uh, find the detail of the data you can see the data like header line uh, discount uh, tax which uh, task is used is it for aggregation is it for non aggregation so it will be later step i will show you so profile generally contain all the configuration whatever we discuss generally in business blueprint like this is the customer need uh, retailer needs uh, we discuss and we configure like uh, in uh, here under profile so profile contain on the configuration now here uh, can, uh, yeah. excuse me uh, um as i understood a uh, profile is uh, like a container for all further configurations uh, am i right 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 oh, okay yeah. so here uh, uh, you have to go any name starting with y or g it's uh, your choice so i am giving y001 uh, mm -hmm. this is my file name uh, now come into uh, just one minute Y zero zero one. This is my profile name. So any other further configuration uh, will be placed under that profile. Now, what is that? What is currency? Currency means like uh, which currency you are going to use. If you are in uh, any country, so currency will be different. So you have to use currency here. So I am taking here like uh, euro. Okay, so. you have to uh, use any type of currency but one more thing is mandatory like this euro your currency exist in your ecc system exist in your pos system so the flow whatever the data flow from pos to ecc it will be smoothly flow uh, from um, currency store 
article master data whatever there is the same i already told you everything will be same in any landscape like uh, ecc you are going to use uh, card you are going to use pos pi so this will be the same so you if you are put here uh, euro then you have to give uh, uh, you have to contact with your retail or fms person that they are using which uh, currency so you have to give their uh, that currency type and also obviously pause uh, using that one and uh, pi also confirm map or you can say uh, map the detail of the data in pi also using that so now you can say exchange rate type what is that this is one is like uh, generally we use generally we uh, leave it this is blank if there is a exchange rate type right we used uh, like a uh, um it is generally used in ecc system there is any exchange of a rate of any like a currency conversation exchange rate then you have to use here same like that if you are going to use here then you have to contact with your ecc person but in general uh, it doesn't affect anything we prefer to leave it as blank there is no mandatory no like you have to fulfill no it's not mandatory still so you can leave it blank as for your information i will uh, give you the knowledge of each and every field else other uh, whatever you can see here all these are not mandatory only this one in currency and you can say profile type is the mandatory other thing depend on you you oh, are okay. uh, like yeah so you, you have to query um no no oh, continue please yeah sure so uh so, this is the use of um, currency of exchange rate type now you have to go like inbound processing you can see there is a fill inbound profile what is that inbound profile like uh, it uh, it uh, like uh, you can say um, control the inbound data what is inbound data the pi push the data into your uh car system like car getting which data data which car getting from your pi system this is the inbound for car so if car if you uh, like to use any like immediately or whatever like um, uh, package site or any other things though, so you can put here you for that you have to create a uh, inbound profile also and sap provide us a standard inbound profile you can use that standard one or you can create your new one now one more thing it's not mandatory we generally prefer whatever system uh, give us the uh, like uh, uh, detail like whenever uh, any data is posted into pi uh, from pi to car it will be immediately reflect into uh, uh, car workbench you can say pos workbench pos dt workbench it will be immediately reflect so there is no lack of time no time gap if it is success it will be immediately uh, uh, reflected into your system into your car system so we generally prefer leave it blank but it's your choice if you control if you may want to manage this one so you have to go i'm just uh, if you f4 here you can see there is a standard one and this is uh, created uh, by me before Uh, but this is to provide by sap standard one i just want to show you where you have to go so just save this uh, may i ask one question uh, what is pi uh, you uh, speak about pi uh, quite uh, often what is pi <laughs> okay 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 see pi is uh, is a uh, uh, it's also a software you can say here Here we uh, have yes. already. Uh, what is the full name of PI? PI is this abbreviation, yes. Um, it's a process integration, I think. Uh, I'm uh, not sure. Maybe process integration. It's a. It's a. You, you can say. Yeah, you can say it's a middleware between POS and CAR system. How CAR and POS system handshake between two between them. So PI uh, okay. is a middleware. Middleware. Okay, got it. So uh, like yes. HPI. hana cloud integration yeah, like uh, cloud um, uh, aci also very um, like demanding module for a middleware like same like pi po po before version y po and now it's pi process integration 
okay okay thank you yo so so if you are going to use uh, like obviously we have to use going uh, pi or any other middleware so that card and pos at least uh, like uh, understand their uh, language and also not only their um, uh, language any data how they handset between pos and card you have to use any middleware they, but generally we use pi and uh, if you want to use any other uh, middleware you can use that one also but depend on that and we have to map uh, whatever i configure here same like pi person it's not your or my work to configure pi detail so it's that person who work on pi that uh, depend on he, uh, him or her he will configure that one okay so pi is generally a middleware nothing else okay okay understood okay, okay. so uh and if where, now where you have to go to create inbound profile if you are uh, if you want to like um, uh, manage the um, processing of inbound data where you have to go for that i need to come back and here you can see this is the define inbound profile here you have to go and what what we do generally open the standard one whatever sap provide so um this one uh, process task immediately we prefer whenever a uh, like um, data come into your car system from pi it will be reflect immediately into your workbench pos workbench where we monitor generally where data is pushed from car to ecc so we like whenever data come it will be reflected into your uh, pos workbench and also tip q entry is i don't have clear idea how tip q what is that uh, it will be maybe some uh, qv of data you want to delete the pro after process you want to delete the detail of the qv and all so it's a depend on your choice and logical unit of word uh, uh, um, work what is that so that uh, that that amount of data will be processed but then again uh, it then system will lock then again it will be posted uh, any another data will be posted there and also all these are provided by a system whenever we con like install system it is the standard one maximum number of entry per uh, transaction per entry if you um, one more you can uh, like uh, increase the limit also but uh, generally we just copy that one whatever this one provided by standard and if you want you can use like uh, you want no you want here 200 so you can uh, increase that one but what uh, what we generally do we just copy this one uh, excuse and me may i ask one question yeah. what yeah, is so. l u w logical unit of work as i remember yeah well, yeah yeah yeah, and, uh, yeah can you explain logical. me in second uh, yeah, in yeah. few words what is this <laughs> Actually, uh, a, a logical unit of work generally is like that. I am um, giving an example like that. If uh, you are working uh, in a system, okay, I am working in a, in a system, and uh, I am creating. I have authorization to uh, configure on that, and same time you are uh, logging to that system, and why you want to change same configuration. so you are not allowed to change that configuration because i am open here and i am uh, work on that uh, like area which you same time you want to edit that area so system what system do system just log that for me and when i came out then you will be uh, able to um, like uh, edit that area uh, generally so when we also when you uh, there's a lot of t code if you going to not only any each and every t code and also each and every area like if you're going to uh, edit in abap code and um, like uh, technically in abap code you are going to write any code and same time same person open that code uh, then you are he or she will not be able because system lock that area for you for your user so uh, that is the logical unit of work in general terms here uh, what is that here like uh, when pi system sends the data into your car system so system lock that one for uh, for lock car system for 100 transaction because before that we uh, mention 100 entry uh, 
per transaction so system will lock your um, for 100 transaction when 100 transaction is over then it will be unlocked then again uh, 100 transaction will be come into your system then it will be posted into your uh, car system then again 100 transaction like that this with this flow uh, like uh, you have a 110 transaction from pi push to your car okay now what happened uh, when 10 transaction will be posted um, uh, 100 transaction posted into your car system now pi uh, hold 10 transaction because system is locked pi is not able to send that 10 transaction when again it open then you, your the pi system will be post that transaction so this is the flow of uh, you can see of data uh, coming and uh, also um, uh, we prefer to use that one because it's good uh, sometime what happen when uh, you 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 create is 1000 okay so sometimes system performance is uh, low not only that system uh, lock that uh, rfc also when flow is uh, huge uh, so you have to clear you have to set a background job for bd87 there is a t code so um, you have to set the background job for bd87 you have to clear so it's depend on you but generally we prefer 100 transaction uh, it posted, then then again uh, it will be posted 100. Uh, like system lock or any issue there you will found. So this is the use generally, and we um, copy this one uh, as as any uh, standard one. You can give any name here. Not only that, you can give any name for your inbound profile, and just uh, save this. And if you go back to your um, profile whatever you created here define profile so if you open that one you can now you have to f4 you can see your profile you can use that one inbound okay. profile okay so this is the use of inbound profile this is basically control the um, inbound data Okay, so this is the use of profile, mount processing profile. You can use that one or you can use previous one, a standard one, or you can use leave it blank. It's not mandatory. Okay, so uh, this is the use of inbound profile. Now, and I will show you each and every one. Why? Because if you are in, in uh, real term, when we are in real project, if there is a requirement uh, to use inbound profile, so at least you have the knowledge why I going to use this one. So that's why. Uh, I, I will show you each and every uh, field here. Uh, I will uh, give you each and every detail here. That's why I'm just uh, sharing you with knowledge. Else, uh, you can see uh, it's not mandatory. Inbound profile is not mandatory. Next is uh, POS IDOC control. What is that? It is PN10. Now, what is PN10? This is for, yeah. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Uh, so PN10 is uh, like a um, like a condition. This condition used for WPU born IDOC. I'm just opening a notepad so that I can write. Yeah, this one. See, uh, when data is created into uh, yeah, sorry posted into car system now car posted all the data whatever from pos to car to your ecc system car posted the data to ecc system which format through ALE idoc through idoc okay so, okay here is a idoc wpu bond wpu bond okay this is a idoc for sales for sales data sales non-aggregation non-aggregation now i will tell you what is non-aggregation aggregation sorry 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 non-aggregation data non-aggregation sales not only data now what is that wpu bond is a t code itself uh, sorry idoc and uh, it will create non-aggregation now what is non-aggregation data or sales I'm giving you an example like I have 10 transactions. I told you like 100 transaction or 1000 or any type of transaction. Transaction means sell. Sell. Uh, think about it's a sale. In your store, it's a sale. 
you are going to purchase online if the sale transaction uh, like word used in card it is a sale uh, like uh, when anyone talking about transaction you have to in background mind you have to think oh it's a sale maybe it's a, a, a goods movement maybe it's the inventory but it's a detail of any type of transaction like sales transaction goods movement transaction or maybe inventory transaction now you have a what is that aggregation non aggregation you have a trend transaction like uh, in your uh, you have a store and your store um, Ten thing, ten um, sell is happen in a whole day. Ten type, ten sales. Like uh, sales means customer come into your store. He he or she for that that customer purchase um, uh, mobile or uh, iPad or any type of thing or um, you can see TV anything. Uh, so he or she they purchase from your store ten things and end of the day. a card get the detailed transaction like 10 transaction is uh, there 1 2 sorry 2 then then end is 10 so this is whole of 10 transaction you are getting end of day into your card system now what is non aggregation <coughs> non aggregation okay. means mm-hmm. non aggregation means whenever one number transaction sales is come into your system car system it will be posted immediately into your um, uh, uh, ecc system or you can set any background job for that <coughs> like after each and every one hour or two hour or any through any <coughs> uh, any other uh, you can say um, job you you will like to post it this transaction one by one not club one number transaction posted then two then three then five then 10 number <clears throat> now this is <coughs> non aggregation and uh, wpu bond idoc will be created into your car system as well as in fms or ecc uh, retail system now what is aggregation aggregation will be like you have a 10 transaction into car system card will be club 10 transaction total 10 tran- transaction 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 then it will be posted into your ecc system so <coughs> sorry so this way uh, we will post it and one more thing for no aggregation for aggregation idoc will be uh, different wpu tab two idoc will be created wpu tab and wpu ums now what is that wpu ums content that article detail like which article is sold out is it tv is it mobile or any other thing so uh, ums uh, club that total of article like tv mobile whatever you can see all the segment here okay and now wpu tab means mode of payment which uh, payment mode you are you, they are using for tv purchase for mobile purchase or any other like um, uh, mode of payments so, so it will be club all the detail and it will be posted into end of the day so this type two type of transaction used for aggregation and this is bond used for non non aggregation now it's your uh, like uh, uh, depend on your requirement are you used for going to use non aggregation or you you are okay with aggreg- aggregation cells so depend on the requirement it will be la, like future requirement which customer like <clears throat> so here you can see when you are going to use wpu bond then it is mandatory you have to push pn 10 condition here is uh, uh, like uh, this pn 10 is manage your wpu bond idoc and not only here in your ecc system when uh, you configure the percent the retail or fms percent configure for uh, uh, their uh, condition type on and all they also have to um, configure that one pn10 generally it's a, a standard one standard uh, configuration and it's for especially for wpu bond here here whatever i'm telling here here this is for pn10 is for 
a wp bond it will control the non aggregation i dog this one this i dog uh, may I ask one question about yeah. this field uh, is this uh, p and 10 uh, only one um on a single uh, possible value for this field or any other values are no, no, no other value. only p and 10 it's a like standard one like uh, uh -huh. if you go to exchange rate okay so if you open you can see this all us has to be provided and we are prefer a standard transaction at average rate when we uh, exchange the rate of uh, currency rate so we prefer this one but it's your choice you can use any one also same like this one this is standard one pn10 and it is configured in ecc also and uh, this is here it's you have to use for wpu bond transaction mm -hmm. so uh, or pn10 or blank uh, just to two possible values for this field yes right right P if you are okay with pn10 and if you are blank this there is a no issue uh, here as for uh, like my working knowledge, there is no issue will be fine. IDOC will be fine, finally posted. But if you face any issue like uh, WP not properly posted, uh, but it is not mandatory. I'm just giving a, a like telling you. So you just go with this one system. And uh, and uh, one more thing, my system, car system is 3.0 and always uh, work with 3.0. So you have to check with 2.0. And if there is any requirement, like um, you can put this, or if there is an issue with WPU bond postings or condition type or any all, so you can use this value. PN10, no other value you have to use. But for uh, 3.0, you have to maintain it blank, like it's your choice. You can maintain in blank or PN10. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So. Next, you can see uh, master data checks for inbound processing and pause workbench. Now, this is for master data checks. Whatever uh, we um, uh, give, uh, like uh, replicate the uh, master data from our ECC to HANA views. I yesterday we discussed like uh, after getting um, car system, we have to replicate master data using SLT or without SLT. So. Uh, now, how car system will know? Like, um, okay, I have to check the master data. It depend on you. You are going to check the master data or not? So generally, it's a mandatory because uh, without master data checks, uh, car system posted all the data into your ECC system. So there is no use of car, right? If if you don't want to use the master data, so what is the use of car? you push all the data so it's a just a normal system behavior okay so we generally prefer master data checks will be happen then it will be posted uh, into um, your um, uh, ecc system so here you can see um, master data checks here it's a uh, depend on you you can create and also one more thing this one is mandatory here because uh, man, not mandatory if you are going to use master data then it's mandatory and uh, obviously any uh, customer retailer obviously go through master data checks else system uses less so we are preferred to check the master data now you have a two privilege you can create your own master data or checks or you can uh, use the standard one now if you are going to afford here you can see the this one standard uh, check profile. Now I will go back, just save this. So you where you have to create, go back, same area uh, where we create inbound profile. Here you can see define check profile. Mm -hmm. Yes, here, I see. Yeah, here we just open our standard one and we prefer this one. This one like prefer means uh, this value like uh, if you are going to use uh, store master data check this one is to provide one double zero this this code this code whatever is to provide we prefer to use this one because in future uh, when like uh, you can see there is a uh, like configuration where you have to configure for your sales for your return for your goods movement. So it's a good to follow whatever standard code they provide. Else you have to create your own one. And in next step, you have to map 
lot of thing for your own code it's like you have to create 3001 here then in next step you have to create um, uh, any other one also so that's why uh, lots of step you have to maintain so we follow uh, to like reduce our task we follow this one whatever is is provided how we just copy this one into any uh, type of whatever you give a name start with z n whatever or uh, sorry y or z and just uh, enter this one so see uh, 2100 this is for yen check goods movement check so this number provided by sap and we follow that one whether you are going to your own check profile still uh, it's uh, preferable to use this all the number you can see 10100 all this number we prefer to use this one else you can create your own one also but uh, in next step you have to con configure a lot if you change this number so we prefer this uh, one yeah. may i ask a question uh, what uh, all these numbers mean uh, will you explain me this yeah sure 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 okay, okay. Yeah, this one generally one zero 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 one for if you are going to check your stored data. Okay, uh, then uh, this one is used, and in I will show you back. If you go back here, this is stored data check, and this one if you open any pause transaction. So um, here one zero zero one for sales. 12000 for uh, no, leave it not training uh, sales one then 15000 this, this one so if you are not going to use that one then you have to configure also and it's a this one then go into that uh, item for yeah. item you also have to configure a lot like uh, 2000 for sales uh, sales customer sales and if you change there then you have to give any other name and if you have used the return, then you have to give other names. So this is for different different item as well as your master data checks. So we prefer uh, the st standard one, whatever SAP provide. So we don't use that one. We don't uh, like um, you know, prefer to ch change this one also. Whatever they provide, we will go with that and we just copy this. Else, is if you don't want to create your own uh, check profile. It is preferable just go and use your standard check profile. It will give you the same whatever you are using your Z1. So this one also, uh, if you generally we use standard one or 001, so uh, same same like uh, work uh, will be done for 001. So we prefer this one. Yeah, if you are going to use your master data checks, we prefer this one. So uh, we use here for uh, this one, but uh, yeah, not only that, you mentioned that uh, check profile here. Then next step, it's also mandatory to check two check box to check your master data check. In next uh, step, I will show you where you have to um, activate for check for your uh, master data checks. You just here mention. Now you mentioned that your uh, all type of like EN number, store, article, where all type of uh, master data will be checked. Now here next step, I will show you where you have to activate the step like, okay, go and check my master data into post workbench. Okay, next step, I will show you. Okay, now, okay. Now you can see uh, security profile. Now what is that? If you are going to use credit card concept, like um, you like uh, payment mode will be not only debit card or grief certificate or any other thing uh, or loyalty point no you are you want to use like customer can use the credit card also then you have to configure the security profile also here um, is we generally uh, prefer like here you can see there is a, a same like whatever uh, sap provider a security profile here uh, you can use that one or like you can go back or here you can see security profile and this is purely for credit card use if you are going to use credit card then you have to mention your security profile here you can create your own security profile 
and you have to mention this one and uh, whatever uh, I, even i don't know what is sf ssf application but we prefer this one you have to use uh, this one security profile and uh, there's a path in uh, netweaver netweaver uh, you have to uh, if you like to like uh, whatever the credit card it will be in encrypted or not so it will you can configure that one also so if you are going to use a credit card you have to activate the security profile just just uh, this one so you uh, uh, we just, yeah so i can use a standard uh, 0001 yes for security yes 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 you can use this one yeah we, we you can you can go back and you can use this one as a security profile when this will be fulfilled uh, like uh, when you are you have a credit card in scenario credit card uh, sell purchase in scenario then you have to mention the security profile else you can like change your security profile but it's the same work there is no difference so you have to security mention the security profile if a uh, credit card is in scenario now you can see sort and uh, over balancing profile what is that this is like a important thing like uh, i told you what is that uh, go back to that one yeah this one uh, what is that like um, th there is a sales in your uh, post system like uh, in in a store uh, you um, your um, like a uh, post person uh, the storekeepers sold out a uh, like tv total amount is one 100 okay now uh, customer buy a uh, customer paid 100 to debit card or credit card whatever uh, there was a scenario customer paid 1000 100 for that uh, for that mobile purchase okay now in pi you don't know what happened in pi because pi is a communicator now in your card system you can see the idoc you can see the not only that idoc you can see the uh detail of the data when you are going to monitoring like total is 100 it's fine but through credit card payment you can see this is only 80 rupees is you can see like uh, car system uh, get 80 rupees detail like uh, you don't know uh, where is the 20 rupees but customer pay here um 100 rupees full amount but you don't have any information in car where is the um, 20% where is the 20 rupees gone so on that moment car failed that transaction and it will not posted into your retail or chemist system it will be fail here in car system showing that error message lie right like 20 rupees is short into your car system uh, sorry in transaction you can see the error message with uh, transactions fell and it will show you an error message like uh, 20 rupees is uh, short same like uh, amount was 100 um, customer maybe pay 100 or you don't know and uh, um, here you can see uh, 100 is total but total is 120 it is over balancing then it will be same it will be failed because total is 100 but uh, you can see like <clears throat> customer paid 120 rupees then it will be fail here transaction will be fail fail and it will be not posted into retail or fms system why <coughs> it will give you a message over balance 20 rupees is over balance uh, please check like this type of message so <clears throat> you have to check with your how you overcome this issue so immediately uh you have to contact you with your pi person as well as a post person maybe some discount was there that's why it will be basically to is so 80 percent maybe uh, in car system uh, you can see 80 rupees when short balance maybe for 120 rupees maybe pi push uh, some extra data which is pending maybe double uh, <coughs> double transactions can uh, come into your car system so you have to check uh, back from background from post with pi to your card system what happened but transaction will not posted again into your retail system unless until you un like uh, check the error then make the transaction error free then it will be posted into your retail and fms system 
so if you like to use this uh, type of uh, like <clears throat> uh, type of property of car then you have to activate your you have to create your um, short and overbalancing profile for that uh, you have to create a profile it's not provided by sap you can see any profile uh, maybe there is a stand no there is a no profile here so you have to go to there you can see there is a short and overbalancing uh, sorry a profile you have to cre create here you can see short overbalancing profile first you have to define a profile then you have to maintain the tolerance setting one by one and i will show you that portion also which uh, you have to create uh, the short and overbalancing profile but before that we will go with the one by one step so if you are going to uh, next like a uh, mandatory first i will show then i will show like a uh, demand of customer the requirement like a uh, credit card requirement where you have to configure also like a uh, uh, sorter of unbalancing if you want to activate then where you have to go so i will show you step by step but uh, uh, you have to create this one you have to uh, over uh, like go all the step one by one then you are able to use this type of feature like if there is any short in total transaction <clears throat> or any extra in total transaction so this is the use of sort and overbalancing so <coughs> sorry so if you are going to use this one you have to create a sort or over profile and uh, uh, like i am giving an example in real time like uh, as i worked with uh, a customer who were not uh, interested to check in car system but uh, they interested in uh, your ecc system like uh, they check this type of uh, error anything they want to check anything in uh, error in ecc system like this type of error sort over balancing right. then then uh, one type of customer they want to uh, check uh, everything into uh, car system so um, this is the requirement yeah then uh, so, uh, as I um, understood, uh, this uh, short overbalancing is a um, more complicated thing than uh, all previous settings. And uh, right. if I want to use it, I need to, to make some uh, extra uh, settings um, in the uh, right, IMG transaction. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have uh, to well, activate. Uh, will we do uh, all the settings uh, later? Yes, yes. yes, I will. I will show you this setting also. I will. Okay. See, I will show. Yeah, I will show you. But before that, uh, we have to uh, complete this session, uh, like uh, this uh, configuration, like profile creation. Then I will show you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is you can see uh, master data checks for determination of data status. And what is that? This one is like if you are going to uh, use on self availability this module of car, mm -hmm. then you have to uh, activate uh, this one, like um, on self availability uh, uh, for this one master data set uh, of data status. You have to activate this one. You can use the standard one or you can use your um, like. Uh, uh, your standard one or you can use your uh, this uh, whatever your SAP provide so it's dependent on you but we prefer like whatever SAP provide we prefer that one and what is that what is the data status like uh, uh, when you are going to use this one uh, on self availability so I in later we will discuss when we work on on self availability on detail on that but before that uh, I would like to share what is data status <clears throat> data status mean <coughs> like uh, in a table there is a table uh, t log f table in your pause uh, sorry car system then on that table uh, you uh, you can see lots of data like duplicate data error data warning data all type of data success data all the data but um, you, you just like to uh, use like to uh, check only um, success data you you just want to see only success data then you have to activate data status and it is mentioned by some a something uh, a 
yeah, there's a field A, you have to put that, then it will be show all the <coughs> um, success data. You have to go to that table, you have to put the A value, value that field value, data status value is A. Now you can see all the um, uh, success data. But uh, when and and when you are going to use uh, on self ability, you have to use only success data. You have to go with only uh, success data, not any warning, not any error, not any that. So when you have to execute, there's a T code. You have to go to your um, that T code uh, on self ability dispatch. There's a T code. You have to execute execute the, this and same like you have to put A as a data status. And you can see the detail of the data, how we uh, like uh, for on self ability for particular article. I'll show you later how it looks like. So if you are going to use this module, so you have to activate uh, this one, like uh, check profile for data status. status. And uh, we generally use the standard one also because same like if you are going to use, it's the uh, same like work. Uh, same and if you have only use pause DTA multi channel, you are don't you don't want to use uh, on self ability, so no need to activate, no need to use that that one. Check profile for check profile data status, no need to use this one. But uh, if you are going to that module, then you have to use this one. So this is the use of uh, mainly of profile type. When you create profile, you have to maintain this one. This uh, currency is mandatory. Also, uh, check profile. Uh, if you're going to use check profile, this one is mandatory. We generally prefer check profile. So you have to use this one here. So this is the two uh, are the mandatory step. This currency and check profile. Others depend on you. It's not mandatory. And uh, PN10 also, if there is any issue is uh, IDOC posting for WPU bond transaction mainly, then you can use PN10. But generally, I see I also delete this one and uh, sometimes I use this one, but no issue. Same work, same thing work like uh, WPU bond. So I didn't uh, face any issue with PN10. It's uh, check profile, obviously, if you're going to check security means um, credit card, sort overbalance. I already told so what is sort and overbalancing. And for that, there is a separate whole uh, configuration. And I will show you that part also after main configuration is over then i will uh, show you this one also so we have successfully created a profile and uh, in next session we will go with uh, here i am giving a name description like uh, sap car give the description and you can save this so we have created a profile uh, standard values next we will uh, already inbound profile check profile security profile we talk about next uh, we will go with uh, define general setting and field selection what is that i will show you and also there is a uh, more uh, there is a store setting also task also we will uh, uh, go one by one so that it will be easy to understand for you also uh, i will go slowly so uh, that it will be easy for you to understand to grab each and everything is it fine for today Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, is it all for today? Sorry? Uh, is this all for today? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Are, are we going to finish? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah today, uh, for today is uh, uh, like uh, over. We will, uh, next session, we'll st I will show you other configuration. So I think uh, today's session you will uh, get a little bit like uh, it's clear for you. If you have any uh, confusion or any question, you can raise me anytime. Not only today, you can ask me tomorrow. Also. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.